Hello everyone, and welcome to another JavaScript tutorial. <clears throat> this tutorial will be... It's going to be basic string manipulation. And basic string manipulation is... Okay, let's just break it down word for word. Basic... Basic is a pretty basic word. No pun intended. Uh, I don't know how to describe it other than easy, simple, to the point. Um, string, I, I covered strings a little bit. Strings are uh, groups of characters. This is for programming. This isn't like string like yarn and stuff. Um, but strings in programming is groups of characters put into one element, kind of. Um, I'll probably have like a how a computer works thing or something tutorial series one day when I learn enough to where I feel comfortable teaching you guys uh, or tutorializing it um, and then manipulation manipulation is when you to manipulate something is to change it and bend it to your will uh, so that's what we're doing with strings we're bending it and manipulating it to our will so a basic fun um, function would be document or basic um, statement would be document dot write hello world correct we go here we refresh it's gonna say hello world pretty simple if we use variables a equals hello oh not a like that var a var b equals world well a dot b oh fail 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 I'm in a PHP mindset there we go embarrassing regardless oh still in a sinking PHP mindset jeez there alright so we use hello world like that if we all right now for string manipulation that is string manipulation right there the a plus b that string manipulation is what we call concatenation or the joining of two uh, strings i don't really know what concatenation means but if we break that word down con means to join and stuff. It also means to con you, but con is a prefix for join. Not sure what Kate means, not sure what nation means. But I know it means to join. When you talk about concate nation, it means to join words or strings together. So that's what that plus sign does. Could we put a b with a space? We could, but. Oh. I press D. But what would happen? We'd get an error and nothing would work. Why? Aren't we just telling it to write A and to write B? Sort of, but it doesn't work that way. You have to follow JavaScript's, JavaScript's syntax. Syntax is how the language works. It's rules. Stuff like that. So, document.write a plus B. The plus sign is the concatenation operator. When you, it, it tells the, it tells JavaScript, hey, for right now, I just want you to act as if this is all one big thing. So it's basically printing that. JavaScript isn't really realizing that it's printing two different strings. When you put it inside this these parentheses and you start concatenating things when it finally gets sent to the document that write function it's all one string it doesn't realize oh you want me to print this and then this and then that it just prints it all at once before it's sent so we're concatenating it and then we're sending it so how come how can we not have to put the space up here can we yeah 
with adding another variable? We can. You don't put a space. You don't do this though. You put well, isn't a variable into quotation marks. If we save, if we save that, we get the same result. Now, why can't here? Let's try this. Fail. A plus or A space B. That should work. We're still telling it to do that. It's in quotation marks, so it shouldn't break anything. Uh, okay. Not sure what that was, but... Well, we're printing A and B, but when you concatenate, you can't put the variables in the quotation marks. If you put them in the quotation marks, it's going to treat them as strings, as letters. It's not going to treat them as names of variables. So, you have to do this. And notice we're concatenating A to this, and then everything that's already been concatenated to B. Now we refresh, it works. Now, what if you only wanted to, say, print part of A, or part of B? Well, A all right, really. Go away. A dot substring zero. Just zero two. I'll explain this in a second. So why are we getting he now? Here's why. Alright. So when you do this, this dot substring or sub str, which means substring. You're calling a function and you're making this the object, what it does, what happens. And I'll have a tutorial on functions probably next tutorial. Well, and I'll cover this better. So we're you doing this substring thing to A, and then in here we're giving parameters or information as to how to do it, uh, instructions. This function has one job, but it needs to know how to do it, and that's what the parameters are. Zero is where to start so are we starting here like before the H no we're starting at the H because this is the index value and an index value for JavaScript and many other programming slash scripting languages um, the index starts at zero because that's how computers like it it starts at zero even though this is the first letter in the word hello the way the computer reads it is this H has a name and that name is zero this E has a name its name is one even though it's the second letter in the string but how come so if that's the index of the H how come this isn't printing the L isn't that the index of the L yeah it is but we're, the second um, parameter in this function is not th how what to what index it's how many characters, including and after your starting index. So, we're going, okay, you want to print H. Okay, you said two characters, so you already covered one with your starting index. That means we can go one more. Or if we put it three. Okay, so now you want two more after your starting one. Alright? That's how that works. Now, what if we wanted the whole thing after, say, H? Just take out H, print everything else, but I don't want to know how long the string is. Okay, that's really easy. Put a 1. You're indexing to the f second letter, because it's 1. You're indexing to the E. And now... Oh, we gotta figure out how long it is. Oh, it's five characters. We took out one, so it's four. Well, that's this will work. And I'll show you that. We're getting LO. But we don't want that. We want it to be simpler. We don't want to have to read it and find the length and all of that. So just do this. One. It still works. Why? Because that's how JavaScript set it up. You don't, if you want to go to the end of the string after your starting index, 
don't have to worry about finding how long it is. It'll just keep going and going until it has to stop. Okay? Alright. I hope I explained this all well for you. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video, and I'll catch you guys later.